All right, we've resprayed the living room. He's wringing the bonnet out over there in the sink, getting ready to drop it on the carpet. And he's going to put the driver plate or pad down on it. Draw my hands. And if you show the the stain that we worked on, you can see that before we started when we were talking, it's, it's been lifted a lot. Yeah, the stains have been broken up. They're it's, still, the uh, material itself is still in the carpet, but it's been broken up significantly by the brush. So, Let's see if you got that in there. Here we go. Now for what is actually pretty much a worn out bonnet, the bonnet still works really, really good. The scrubbing strips that are built onto the bonnet are pretty much gone. So this is just a solid bonnet. So. But it still cleans, it still absorbs. It does great. Yeah, one day it's going to come apart and then we'll have to replace it, but that's okay. Now this area over here is real, real dark. Where I'm at right now. Yeah, that works. whole lane was dark. It was and a it really bad like traffic area. Really, really clean here in Tulsa I'm seeing why I'm seeing pieces of bonnet coming off. <laughs> Me too. Looks like it may be a, it may be getting ready to come apart today. We always bring an extra bonnet with us just in case. If it does wear out, we'll just put a new bonnet down and start over. When these get to where they don't work on carpet at all anymore because they're just too worn out, a lot of times you can still use them on floors after that because they there's not any friction really doing a floor so and they still absorb, and, but they won't be coming apart on the floor because they don't have anything grabbing onto them. You know what, I'm switching it out now. Alright. It's retired. Go ahead and tell them we'll be right back. Okay. We'll uh, switch the bonnet and start over here. Let me see how bad that thing really was. Look at the pad driver. Yeah. All that stuff is from the bonnet. But they get to the point where this side, you can tell, is really deteriorated. Then they get to where all you're going to do is have pieces everywhere, so... We're going to save this one for floors only after this, and he's going to get another bonnet out. I'm just going to put this over here. And here's a brand new one. This is the difference in them. So we didn't cut the tag off of this one, so it's kind of. It'll come off. Yeah, it'll come off in time. And he's going to soak it just to get it wet. Soak it, wring it out. Then uh, we'll see if a brand new bonnet actually scrubs a lot harder. I'm pretty sure that they will. So it may clean the carpet a lot faster than that old bonnet did. But we'll see. The old bonnet will still work pretty good on the last job we used it on. It's working good here. It's just starting to come apart. And I'm afraid it'll tear it through the. And let the pad driver hit the carpet. Yeah, you and don't that want to. The pad driver will tear up a carpet. hard to see where's the best angle to shoot this from because of the lighting. It's, it's very hazy outside today, so it's overly bright, so it's kind of difficult to... It's, I'm afraid it's going to blow out every the picture. Give me a second here and I'll be ready. Well, I kind of feel sorry to get rid of that bonnet. It made us a lot of money. Take it just out of the And you can see the print that it's leaving in the floor. It's more aggressive because uh, it's new. Yeah, the pad will probably be, this, the new pads are probably quite a bit more aggressive as, they, as you first start using them. Yeah, it's aggressive. 
So we're doing this as a, basically an experiment and to show what you can get out of these machines. But we're not necessarily recommended as the best way you should do it. You would probably want to stick with using newer bonnets. If you have two or three bonnets, you can rotate them. A lot of people do. They bring three or four bonnets. If they bring a bunch of bonnets to a job technically and they just keep throwing a, another one down. We always hand wash all of our bonnets. At home. We don't put them in a washing machine. so. Um, it takes a while. It takes about 10 minutes to get a bonnet really clean by hand, so we're more inclined to stick with the same bonnet for a job instead of having to go home and wash three or four bonnets out. And you want to wash them out the day you use them. Yeah, you can hear that tag fluttering around, making noise. Keep in mind, we're doing a carpet here that's basically a complete disaster. And hardly anybody would expect it to become perfectly clean. You can't really make it look like brand new again, so we're just trying to improve it as much as we can. But carpets that are neglected for three years or so and they're not clean, because we've never, we've been doing the carpets here for a long time, we've never cleaned this carpet, so I know they never had it cleaned while they lived here. So these carpets, when you have that much dirt and grit that's allowed to stay in the carpet for a long period of time, it completely destroys the fibers of the carpet. So if we can make this thing look decent at all, that's a, a victory because it's never going to be new again. And you can't fix wear and tear with any machine. Some people will talk about being able to repair tip bloom and things like that, but you're not really, a machine like this doesn't repair a carpet, it only gets rid of stains and dirt. You can't really repair a tip bloom. No, it, it would have to be retwisted and put back together in a permanent way. And though some people say that they got machines and chemicals that will do it, it's not really going to be anything but a temporary improvement at best. Tip bloom's the same thing as a person with long hair having split ends. You don't repair that, you, you cut them out. Yeah, you don't do that on carpet, but on carpet you just replace it. When an individual carpet fiber has started to unravel That's it. and the twist is, is coming apart and the yarn separating, you're not going to really be able to put that back together in any kind of significant way. He's going to take the bonnet off when we finish the living room and he's going to spray it out with the sprayer and everything and wring it out again so we'll take a look and see how dirty the bonnet actually got because it was brand new when we threw it down. So. Okay, even with having to change bonnets and everything, we're only eight. Almost, we're approaching nine minutes here on this living room, which really is pretty good because we did stop, change the bonnet and everything out. So it's going pretty fast. Let me try and see. I'm going to try to show this from different angles because I'm not sure how the final results can appear with the lighting we have and everything. But you can see that the carpet's got a lot of the stain taken out of it. There's some permanent things in here, like cigarette burns and other things, but. Uh, for the most part. You can see that transition line there where the carpet's a little bit darker. And that, that's not going to go away 100% because that's a worn carpet. I'm not done either. Yeah. I'll We're going to try to blend it. Out. Yeah. We could try to blend it a little bit more, but there's always going to be a spot where you can see the worn carpet compared to the brand new carpet. All right, here's the darker. This is the worst area of the carpet right here on that. This shows you why it's kind of a good thing if you have the ability to do it, to rotate your furniture around your room a little bit so you don't develop a, a spots in your carpet that are oh, really worn out. Yeah. By just moving your couch to a 
different positions and changing the way you walk into a room and the places where you sit. It's going to make your carpet wear more evenly overall. And this is what will happen if you don't do that. And maybe you don't have, in little, little apartments like this, you really don't have a lot of choices where to put your furniture. But when you can do it, it's a good thing to do it. See, that's coming out real nice. Yeah, there's in screen now is the carpet that was under a piece of furniture. And as I pan over, you can see there's the carpet, and it's more worn out. The yeah. color is matching up. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get it a little bit closer of a match. You can't, <clears throat> you can't match the wear, but you can match, but you can get the colors to blend in together. Yeah, keep in mind too, we're showing this on a on video, and it does it picks up things that the naked eye doesn't see. So a lot of times you'll see things on camera, but to the naked eye, the, the, everything looks perfect, but the camera still picks up on things. It's going to notice, it's going to show uh, carpet, the dampness is in the carpet if you have a dry section of carpet and a damp section of carpet, it may look the same to us, but the camera is going to show the damp section is darker. So there is going to be a lot of moisture in this carpet because we put a lot of free spray down. Alright, let's show them the pad. That's what it looks like after going over the carpet. So it's... And that's what the clean side looks like. So it picked up a bunch of dirt. Some of the dirt's penetrated through. I can tell you the other side's actually a little... What bit. I'm going to do, since I'm kind of a perfectionist nut, I'm going to respray this one more time, get the pad wet and go over it, and then we're going to move to the other areas of the apartment. But I'm going to try this little area here one more time because I want it to look perfect. All right, he's going to go clean that bonnet and with the light and stuff in here. I might show it a little bit. I don't know if it's going to show up. Turn the kitchen light on. I'll try that. It'll see. help. Let's see if the light's working. Let's try to show it. You see some of the dirt coming out. It's hard to tell. She sure. don't have much of a sink spare. Hang on, it's coming out. Get it over here in the corner, you can see a lot of dirt. See? Yeah. Anybody that tries to say when you do this, all you're doing is pushing the dirt deep into the carpet, they just don't know what they're talking about. Well, it seems logical that that's all it's doing, but it's actually absorbing. It's pulling the dirt off. It's if in you the look bag. at the amount of dirty water that comes out of a tank of an extractor when they dump it, a lot of people show that when they're dumping it in the toilet or whatever. This water's just as dirty. But you got to remember too, if this pad has the ability to scrub down to the bottom of the carpet and bring up the breed that the vacuum cleaners are missing, then it must be getting down to the bottom of the carpet. That's obvious. If it's getting back down to the bottom of the carpet, it's cleaning the bottom of the carpet. Some people just don't know what they're talking about, but they want to make up arguments because they got a method they want to sell on people. So this works. Now he's going to maybe spray it out a little bit. You can't get it perfect to clean on the job because it takes about, like I said, it could take about 10 minutes to get the bottom completely clean. So what he's going to do is get it clean enough to continue, get some this, of the dirt out. The stain that's on it will never, the stain will always be there, but the dirt's out. It's always going to have a dark stain from now on. It's, it's done work. You can also have a bucket full of clean water and you can throw the bonnets in there. And yeah, you can just, them, yeah, you can just dip them. Just set them in the bucket for a few minutes and come back and wring them out. But uh, the next time you do that, you're going to be soaking it in dirty water. It came out a little, a lot of the dirt came out. The dirt came out, just it's got a dark stain. Yeah. I'm going to set the pad, then I'm going to spray this area real quick and go over one more time, and we're going to be done because it's going to look good. Okay, since he's going to do the, going to respray and everything, I'm going to go ahead and stop the clip here. And we'll start back up in a, in a couple of minutes, so stay tuned.